previously on Tell Me Why. I couldn't even imagine all the memories that must flow back if you do something like this. Did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. Raising your transgender child. <gasps> Alliance for Traditional Families. So it was, which one was it? I'll leave that for another day. Or do y'all like seeing what's behind me? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Who is this guy? He looks like a fun time. Piercings in a man bun. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Okay, so we're going to Tessa's first. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. But she so wasn't. I'm guessing this is Michael. Oh, now we're Allison. <gasps> Michael the ex? Oh hell yeah, that's man bun, piercings man. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. Hmm. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't Rude. Worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. But they're the not Tyler dating. Tyler talk goes on 24/7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll Why get are they it cleaned dating? up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. <laughs> cannot wait for us to get out of here. What's that? Ooh! Maybe gonna be roommates? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. Aw. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season and baseball. <laughs> That's How adorable! That? Yes! <laughs> oh, y'all live together! You okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. Yes, yeah, friends. Cool. Friends. Most guys I know get all smeagle about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I like him! Yes, Michael! Oh, we're sprinting. Who lives in this tent? Oh, we're remembering something? We're remembering something. Remember. Tessa's Cafe. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. Oh, it's we Mama. I missed her. The other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. What is this? She's oh, we're remembering more things? What are they calling? Fried banana rolls? Hiram? What is this? Oh. Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Ha! <laughs> 
get it? Because it's a dome. <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. That was funny. Me. With all of my jokes. That was I funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Alright. Lunch, question mark? There's three different doors. Okay, I guess not that one. Should we go Can inside we look at this or stand around until billboard? we become human popsicles? So many things. Hmm. Bible study with Father Batista. Bible study here every Wednesday. Mhm. Mm Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka and the hail marys start flowing. There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. I really hope they get Sign the petition on protect this. salmon on migration. What? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. All right, and then the Delos Crossing Police yet. Department crime alert: multiple incidents of mail theft occurring in and around Delos Crossing. Residents have reported letters and packages stolen from mailboxes, and particularly in the East Point and Alameda sections. Delos Crossing Police Department encourages all residents to increase awareness and consider purchase well, of locking mailboxes. Let's go shopping. All right, let's go shopping. Let's go spend some money. One of my favorite pastimes. Oh, okay. Cutscene again. Tom Vet well, Vecchi? Ronan. Vecchi? Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. Well, everybody seems chill. Well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise. Been after working. After ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Oh, right. We well, walked around uh, it once. Set right up. That's us it working on it. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh... Of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That I love that he's wearing his started. own well, voting don't let stickers. Me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. Wife. I'm sure she'll be around later though. Okay. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner, plus snacks and drinks. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. <laughs> I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Casting call. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Role of Rodolfo. Sounds like you. La Bohim. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Or... Mm. You know, jawbreakers, the move. roller derby, fresh meat boot camp, or that pumpkin's huge. Free concert, Catholic Halloween celebration. That seems like an oxymoron. A Catholic Halloween. Sodas. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. What? What is what? I can't see. I guess this one? Cause I'm it's grabbing green? some water. Water is good. Water's important. You know, or the ones that look like water. All the good fishing spots are Uh, LT. Maybe later. Later. We've got some shopping to do. Let's talk to homeboy again. You're planning to be a ranger, right? Yep, that's the plan. Oh, we're not I'll talking. They're talking. I'll probably start cleaning honey buckets, but one day I'll make it to Denali. What is hey, that? Tyler, remember the Trout King? I know, yeah, but I I, I don't know what it, what it is, but I want it. Retired him by now. 
Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12 pounder. That's a huge trout. We got Hey Tom. Tickets. When did you get that new California plate? Do you remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? Who is the funky band? They sent you their license plate? Their band got in town. So they pulled some strings to get back. So by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? <laughs> Cup friends in high places. Where are the snacks? Why do they have so many candles? Should I get the fancy scented ones? Get the cheap ones. All we need is a light source. Let's not go crazy with the scents. Yeah, it'll give you a headache. So. Michael. You want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? It has some roundabout way of asking birch me to make syrup. my world famous pancakes. Ooh, busted. Ooh, yeah, pancakes. Yum. I'm starving. Would love some pancakes right now. Oh my god, giant really pumpkin. Enormous pumpkin. Where is like the food and stuff? So, what do you think is that was? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Candy. 100%. Oh, man. Sweet tooth. I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency at Fireweed, like ramen in state prison. Well, you won't need to trade any shifts for these. Ha. Huh. Did they always sell this much produce here? I mean, kale. In Delos Crossing? Yeah, Tessa was paleo for a hot minute, and her whole gaggle of church ladies followed suit. The madness spread from there. The madness spread from there. All right, let's what talk. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. The cleaning stuff. Where is that? Back to the back corner where we were before. Oh, cleaning stuff. Plan. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Let's get the this one. Mm, organic's better. Yeah, organic. Sure. Didn't even know. Hey, I just like the packaging better. Here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Oh, thanks for letting me know. All the time you've spent here. What's back there? Aren't you running for Allison, more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, who knows what kind of animals you got out there. More so for the rifle side than the pistol side. Alright, let's ring Will up. that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. <laughs> yes. So we were out so, at the old house today. This is awkward. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? Is that we why they stopped talking? Questions about her. Mom was going to be chill and Tessa was not, so that was the judgment. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Was she chill and you weren't? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. Yeah, I okay. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I can't tell if she's sorry. lying or not. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> it's only shaped his entire it life. Night. You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. I mean, yeah. That's all we can know. 
But you, need to go now. you also can do a little Best bit more you, truly. than what you're doing. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. CIA training. Something I think weird. that she just knocked it's you weird, down twice right? and that's it. Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Well... What would that be? Oh, we can follow her. To the office! Can I help you, Allison? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no thanks. Breaking into stuff. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? Pious Pelican. She's the Pious Pelican! Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out? Stuff she lets regulars take for free. Is Sam the bear? And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Well, let's talk to her again. Is there something I can do for you? What are you up to? What so should you do? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. Just shopping? No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything. So it's but, November uh, the 2nd good, through the 8th. Good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. Never mind. No, never mind. Allison. So today is Monday then? November the 2nd? Buzzard hole. I wonder what he does on Saturdays from 12 to 8 and why he does that differently. What was it? What? Oh, oh, I hear something. I feel something buzzing. What are we remembering? Here we go. Here's one. Remember. Hey, Follow guys, the memory. You done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne. Where are we going? Can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam. Oh, well, that's Tessa. rude. Look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do that's I also rude. In your debt? Damn, I right. shit. That was rude. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it. Calling in your but debts. Not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Remember. Yeah, wit eyewitness testimony. Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. My eyewitness is terrible. Can we talk? Let me get on this side. No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Oh, it's interesting okay. how they remember it separately. She was, Marianne was a lot more mean in that one. I remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got I want to talk to you Which is it going now. To be? Uh, Do I need to start calling in your debts? I like that one because it makes Tessa look bad. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Tessa was angry. Yes, Tessa was. She went on Jack Thompson on her. I w Yeah, let's do that one. I want to talk to you now. I want to understand Marianne more the Lord than just write her off drugs. up You're front. Failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. This makes Christians look bad. Hand and you, my God, 
You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes. You We're not all like this, I promise. But friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside. <coughs> What is wrong with oh, that's split. It like split us apart instead of put us together. Because we didn't go against, we didn't go with what he said. I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. Uh-oh. Regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. Dang it. it was impossible we didn't go with music. Tyler's hey, thoughts. Now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Well, now you know. You can play the game multiple times and get different outcomes, probably. Like the Life is Strange games. Let's talk to her again. Hey, what is up, Palm something Girl? I can do for you? Your fight with Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, oh, you remember. I was in the middle of something. Lying okay. is very unchristianly. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. Yeah, for sure. Uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What, what song was thinking? it? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Triggering. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. See, you may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Use her own husband against her. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Do 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 do. What up, Tom? So we got hey, a Tom. question. There's something I can help you with. How's business? Let's let's get the whole picture. How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't Survival tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You like tried that just... new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. He's a chatty what do we one. Think up next, huh? How's the campaign going? Mayor Tom. What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Remember that one song? This might be a weird question, but. Ten years ago. the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Oh, so he does remember. Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Gonna get me copyright blocked again. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. All pop music is cheesy. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Might have to cut this out. We'll have to see. Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing mm -hmm. what I'm seeing? Yeah. 
I might just risk it. Should we check this one out? I don't want y'all to see the dialogue. Oh, oh jamming. Stop. That's so embarrassing. Look at her go. <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. All right, so we got one. How free she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Oh, we got another one. Yep, there's like a bunch of them. The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Oh, just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. Hmm. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. I'm pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet. Is that it? Is that all the memories? I think so. Yeah. Oh, no. There's one. There we go. Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. I took a pill. I said I'm fine. Okay, She's on come pills. On, let's go. Wait, please. Ooh, that's I a bit something. different. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Mm. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? The spirit. I, I saw it in Mary Ann's room. Yeah, we held it in our hand. Five, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. Well, that's Sorry. not good. Are we gonna break true. into her computer? I don't know how Mary Ann felt about it. Question mark. We need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Argent, don't miss out on this opportunity. What if I told you the government owes you up to ten thousand dollars in cash? Okay, so that's a that's a scam. Alliance for Traditional Families November newsletter. Watch Dr. Whitmore's talk, articulating God's design for sexuality. Ten powerful question quotes will change your life. The Parents Guide to Preventing Same Sex Attraction. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Now in its twentieth year. Okay. Oh wait. Order's been shipped. Garlic peeler kitchen tool. Ah. Nicole. Hey, Tessie. Just got back from my work Asian and found the girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said they were riding high when he picked them up from your place today. And apparently you got them both to eat care, 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 care. Please let me know what saint you prayed to pull that off. LOL. All morning they've been going on and on about their camping trip with Auntie Tessa and the s'mores they ate and the bugs they caught. I can't remember the last time they were both this happy at the same time. Usually one's happy and the other one's crying. I know you're busy with the store and getting ready to be first lady. So thanks for taking time for them and so sorry about the last minute drop off. You know how work's been. The girls say, we love you Auntie Tessa. You and Tom should come over for dinner sometime. Adrian's been dying to show him the new media room, which will keep them busy while we drink wine in the kitchen. Your favorite little sister, Notorious N.I.C. That's hilarious. All right, so this is Barbara from Barb Mayfield. Uh, I know y'all don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa has flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't shown up in weeks. I know we were all moved beyond words by her performance of Danny Boy at Carl's funeral, but what good is a beautiful voice if you can't show up on time every week like everybody else? I think we should start planning the Winter Gala without her. Thoughts from Barb. Seize the day, Robin Williams. Okay. Hi, Barb. So I'm supposed to look for the, the pamphlet? Can I help you, Allison? 
Oh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just I'm looking good. for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Elijah, June 24th for the meal at the restaurant. Paid off. $11 for the kid in September. We're looking for Marianne. Eric B. February, 50%. March, paid off. Or 50, $50. March, paid off February's debt. September, $20 for gas. Paid in full. This is their records of who she owes them money. Mabel in which no show. Album? It looks like Marianne started Marianne. her debt in October 2004. Five months before. Marianne, April $50 for gas, paid off. 37 for groceries, plus 30 new jacket for Allison, paid off. 21 for medicine, paid off. 40 for groceries, paid off. Helped during the rush inventory. October, $100, $140 for washing machine repairs, no show. November, 55 new shoes for the kid, check bounce. Summer no show, January no show, not returning calls. Huh. Okay, so we can talk to her now. We have things to discuss. Is that gonna be enough? Is that our airtight case? Let's talk to Tyler about it. What are we waiting for? Let's go talk to Tessa. I think we've seen enough. Okay. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Let's go. Let's do it. Tessa, we got some questions. Is there something I can do for you? We remember some details, Tessa. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debt and demanding that Marianne talk hilarious. She's talking to her boss like argument. this. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts. I never. Like I'm some kind of loan shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. Oh, sh shit. I remember the it was the last, it was either October or August. I wanna say it's October? October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. So what'd you argue I about? I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You were mad she bailed on you. You told her about the camp. She said she was failing. You said she was failing us. Told her about the camp. That we know for sure. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? <gasps> mm, I think it's Virtue Seekers. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I, uh, um. Conversion therapy is terrible. Look, you've clearly decided I'm Judas, just like Marianne did. But I was trying to help. Tyler, she told me she'd been struggling we with broke you, through. and I'd heard such good things about that camp. You told her to send her child to conversion therapy. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? They're some pretty mad, bad things. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Very well. Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. Oh, no. And yes, I mean, we argue that's good, it. but also bad. So she was cool with who I was. Because she was more than that. Now that makes she loved you. him feel bad. Listen, for murdering I don't his mean to mother. Be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay, we'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. So accusatory, and then now we're just like we're just chill. We're good. We're calm. We're we're collected. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Bye, Tom. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I was gonna say, if she's like a hippie. To talk about the past. 
Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. It it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. Mm. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. It, and we're gonna find that out. Feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. We smoke now? This has been a long time without a smoke. If that's the case. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. This yeah, means a lot, me to too. be honest. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess I wonder if I can get those to not pop up. Conversation. Exactly. But, I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Okay. What's Eddie got to say? Full confession. Tell the twins everything she knows. Sweet! Got an achievement. So this is the same police chief from the very, very beginning. I wonder why he, like, adopted her. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. That's hilarious. But what about drunk bears? Such a small town. <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Surprised they even have more... I'm surprised they even yeah. have more officers. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? He's a local hero. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. Officer He's Justin Beaver. He's the longest serving officer. That's amazing. I'm the law. Officer Justin Beaver. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Public safety stuff. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Join well, the team. Should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. National really? Guard. 100% college tuition paid. Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Hey, yo, uh, we D T Beach still closed for oil. Too peanut. soon, Tyler. Too soon. And then sign the petition. Let's do the beach one. <gasps> That's still not cleaned up. Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not. Please wait in line. Thank you. What's this? What this? Tiny little thing. Take you for a ride. Want to see what a police officer does on the job? Register for the ride along program. For more info, ask Chief Brown at 373-1815. Talk to Chief Brown for more information. Okay. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. Going to reception. The precinct's basically family. <laughs> Dang it. It's freezing in here. <sighs> Locked. Let's look in here. That computer. We need to get on that computer. It's lit up, so that means something important. Let's try this door. Or no, that door just leads to the front. That doesn't help me any. Is this the stairs? Damn, all the doors are closed. They all locked. Mm. Eddie must Alaska. have locked it already. What? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? 
Yeah. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch Mailbox this bandit investigation. Stealing from mailboxes. This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like... Um... On October 27, 2015, at approximately 10.03 hours, Officer Greggs and myself were dispatched to 2039 Woodlawn Road to respond to a report of theft. We arrived at approximately 10.22 hours and spoke with the owner, Lawrence Cooper. Date of birth, 7.15.1967. Cooper reported his mailbox had been broken into. Cooper stated, I checked it two days ago because I'm waiting on my new phone. They made me pay extra for shipping to get it here on time that I said I ain't having that shit. I'm not even gonna pay what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said it would be here Tuesday, but this morning the lock was smashed to shit and there wasn't anything in there. Probably that punk ass toe down. Note, toe down is a street alias for Jervis A. Sallow, known to himself and Officer Greggs, informally number 12... 882 last known address was Almeida Plaza Apartments. Cooper also stated he had been home all night prior to the incident and heard nothing unusual. Cooper went down to state went on to state hmm, when I find when I find Toe down I'm gonna stuff his ass up his own ass. That's a great line. Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats. Cooper then stated his willingness to prosecute Sallow and was directed to seek charges with the pro pros prosecutor's office. Okay. So he thinks it's Toe Down. What a name. Is it blocked? The mailbox bandit, huh? <sighs> Something's in the way. What are we remembering? Where's the memory at? On the stairs? Yeah, I think it's on the stairs. Let's look at the desks. Look at some kids. You Cute family. Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Becky's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a, a cop co now. They're ma oh my god, that's the cutest. Don't tell me he's got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? Ew, no. Uh, name. Kevin Sutton. Date admitted, 2015. 58. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? Damn it. It's locked. Well, what did you expect, dumb Patient dumb? transfer. Station. Fallen Creek Correction Center. Okay. Oh, Greg's just leaving this out on display again. All the missings. Like Officer Greg's, the one who was with us that night. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids. Remember, Mr. Haynes? Vaguely, he had that workshop in his garage, right? It's so sad to see that many people missing, sculptures. even such a yeah. small town. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always like somebody left Ooh. dinner. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh huh. Everyone eats there all the time. All the coffee, it's as too. as exciting as food gets in Bellows Crossing. Oh, 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 what's this? You have a file? Oh, no, it's a drawer. A key! Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Who is this? Happy 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Another year to prove that older doesn't really mean wiser. Have a kick-ass day, DD. From Dan. Enjoy your last year of youth before joining the bitter 30-year-old lady club. Don't waste it. From Rosie. Hope you enjoy these spice those spicy chocolates. Happy birthday, D. From Joshua. Happy birthday. You don't look a day over 100. From Maria. So we know where our locker key is. Examine her actual police. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. Remember this fella? Oh my no gosh, way. it's such a pretty husky. I yep. could write her a note. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between. 
Wish her a happy birthday. Putting himself between her and a she bear. Won't notice that I added it afterward. Happy birthday! Sled dog race winners list. I don't know who any of that is, but we wrote her a birthday note, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, let's go figure out what's up with this memory situation. Is it this room? I remember. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Okay. Let's go upstairs. God, not here too. Tyler, you coming? Yeah, we got memories everywhere, punk. Armory. I'm guessing this is where the stash all the guns and stuff. Yeah, it's the armory. Well, it's not exactly Fort Archives. Meade, but yeah. Can we leave this door? Do you think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? The archives are off limits. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Maybe. Knock. Chief Edward Brown. Allison, hey. Oh, he's young. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Wait, Give he's young. Minutes. It's kind of hot. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee okay. sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh -huh. Okay. Was he, is he supposed to look young? What are we remembering? Where are we remembering? In the break room, maybe? I can't, what? I'm just gonna open it and see if that helps. Oh, is this not the break room? Why is it such it way. a strong memory thing but I don't see like anywhere to actually remember anything is it in this room and I can't get to it yet because there's something blocking the way is that the problem is this the break room or I just missed it okay let's go in Let's go through the locker room. Ugh. Somebody's let buzzing. Get gross. Here we go. Let's move this. Yeah, we can this get back out this way. Ta-da! Oh! I was pressing the wrong button. I'm dumb. Okay, here we go. I'm not dumb. I'm just not. Just not the smartest. You know, I'm not going in. What is it? I'm not going in? I'm not going in. Okay. Police Chief Brown asked counsel to reconsider budget. Okay. I'm not that hungry. We have cookies. This is your lunch area. Keep it clean. You have a plant up there. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Coffee! How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Oh yeah, I guess you can't really hey, squeeze onto those you bunk okay? beds. Or 
remembering something. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Allison killed her. Question mark. Maybe? Okay? Did Allison kill her? Is that why this is such an Honestly, issue? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Allison stabbed her in the face. Allison oh, stamped her in the face. Bound to a lie. Remember the night the twins agreed to lie. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. Four days without a bear sighting. That's the record. Ooh, this music. Boom, 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 boom. The locker. We know where the key is. Should we break into her key? Her lock? Yep, it's locked. Yep. Boo doom doom boom. Boo doom ding boom. Boo doom ding boom. Boo doom ding. Boo doom ding. Boo doom ding. We're going into. It's the first time I've been in here since. What is this room? Eddie was so uncomfortable he dropped a vase. Oh, here we go. Remember. Here. Um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Oh. oh. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? It's that vase. They glued it back together. It's important, I guess. It's like nothing in here to interact with. So, okay, let's go talk to. Oh, remember, so many memories. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. You lying to us, Mr. Officer I need Man? I'm asking a few questions now. Come with me. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. But instead. So, we good, or you go back upstairs? Hey, homeboy, where you at? There we go. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out. My headphones about to die. Lonely. He said, battery. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I put him away for 10 years. It's fine. Tyler Ronan. Back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yeah, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> The clan? Oh, bro. oh is he she one of the act from me. the like Everybody indigenous people? Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not Reunited sure how I got by without this dork. And it feels so good. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. <sighs> we found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? She's worried about something. We'll just go down the list. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. 
I see. Hmm. It didn't tell, tell me anything. Thing, okay. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Yeah, Usually. she seems to... It's the other way around. Not be unconventional, or not be conventional. My headphones just died. Okay, I hope y'all can hear this. And I might talk a little bit louder because these ones have the little, like, noise-canceling part. Let's see, what were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. It's a long time. Thank you. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. You want my advice? Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, Ooh. are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's Ooh. what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't defense. be sure. Defense. I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure. Self-defense. Okay? trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about She me. already did tell you. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Oh. <laughs> Shoot. These are the choices that I don't know what to choose. Being kept apart was wrong. <gasps> Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, Little Moose. It was hard little to moose. talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just... Move on. Yeah, Sounds that'd be like great. The right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Nobody asked Tyler. He didn't say yes or no. Such light eyes. Excuse me, what? So, like... There was a dude at the corner and we're just not gonna- not gonna talk about it? Oh, flashback. Bet to see Allison do the deed, aren't we? Oh. What 
is that? Oh! Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No! Please! Just straight up said it. Yep. I knew it. Ooh, scissors. Not even a knife, but scissors. Somebody's got a mental thing. Like a schizophrenia style? But then how did... Allison. How did Tyler see? Or I guess... Killed her. Ollie Killed her. at this point? Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. Called it. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. Aww. That's what goblins do. Could you imagine? And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. She had some kind of break. Some kind of like psychotic break. But how did Tyler also see that weird Cheshire cat hunter guy? I have so many questions. Oh, is it the end of the chapter? Chapter one. Wow. And for those who don't know, they release these types of games in episodes. So, there's normally some space in between them, but it seems like chapter 1, 2, and 3 all just came out really close together. So, I have all three of them. I'm able to play them. So, I hope that you guys have been liking these videos enough to want to, like, go through them with me. So, and then also it goes over the choices that you've made. Um, along with the percentage of people that either globally or your friends agreed slash disagreed or whatever with your choices that you made so you can kind of see like if you went with the most or the least amount of like what people thought slash agreed with so Allison was happy that Tyler accepted e Ed Edie's <laughs> Eddie's peace offering 73% um you can throw it in the water 10% were just like f this ring delighted to solve the prince's rizzle 17 busted it open Tyler felt unrecognized by Allison's lack of trust in the Zor. So that was much closer. 54 to 45. Or 55 to 45. Tyler was reassured that his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. So 71 to 29. Which, yeah, I could see that being a lot easier of choice. Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. 52% called him out and 48 didn't. I didn't want to escalate that anymore because he seemed okay like a nice enough guy he also had a shotgun at us so like you don't really want to outright be aggressive towards a guy with a shotgun pointed at your face but apparently i was in the minority about that but it was a very very close 52 48 tessa opened up about opened up to the twins about marianne 48 percent majority learned the truth 27 Either didn't get an answer or in 25 antagonized her. Didn't know that was a thing, but I probably would have wanted to do that. Edie felt rejected. H Edie, I did it again. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. That was the same statistic as earlier. And it also now messed up Allison and Eddie's relationship. So we'll, I guess we'll see how that worked. 
to or how it works later. So what now? This is a prequel well, for next. He's obviously not going to give us the truth. Chapter, or it should we be. Go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not not prequel preview. Of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Oh yeah, he is. That's a, the archives. That's against the rules. What a freaking game so far. My goodness. I hope that everybody's liking what you're, what we're seeing. The choices that I'm making. I'm sorry if I, like, am super going against something that, like, you would want to do differently. Um, and if that's the case, tell me what you chose or what you would have chosen in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Let's do it. That would be great. Um, sorry that my headphones died in the middle of it. What a freaking ending. Holy crap. So it seemed like a lot of my choices were in the majority, but I'm not sure that that's going to continue to be the case. We'll just have to see. I hope to see you in the next video so you can kind of go with me on this journey. Like I said earlier, comment about your, your choices. If they would have been the same, if they would have been different. Sorry, I keep messing with my hair. This is why I don't ever straighten it because I feel like it just... It's not even straight anymore. I don't know. But I just, I'm so like, oh, well, I called it was Allison. Called that part. But I don't know if I'm going to continue with being right about these things. Who knows? But I'm excited to see. Uh, like I said in the last video, for the next episode of the game, I'm going to film all of it in a row and then cut it into three episodes. And I'm, I have no idea how long they'll be. I'm assuming about an hour a piece. Um, let me know if you like the more long form content or if you want 18 half an hour videos <laughs> for the whole series, all three chapters. Um, which I can do if you want. That's fine. I don't want to edit a three hour long video. So that's why I want to cut it into pieces and then work on it individually. But I hope to see you in the next video where we start chapter two. Episode two? Chapter two. I'm going to say chapter two. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Whatever you're thinking. Like this video if you've liked what we've done so far. Like this video if you don't like what we've done so far. And leave me a con comment about what that is that you don't like. There. Do it. I'm bribing you again. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. I hope that your, the rest of your week, your weekend, your rest of your month, the rest of this 2020 goes better than it has before. Um, and please get good restful sleep. I know we as gamers really don't want to do that. Um, follow me on Twitch. I stream Mondays and Wednesdays. Yeah, I don't really have anything else. Let me know if you're coming from YouTube to Twitch or Twitch to YouTube. Love to know where that kind of crosses over. Let me know if you want more story-driven content from me like this, like these types of games. Or if you're just like, stick with Sims builds, we don't want anything else. <laughs> but I love you all. Have a great rest of your day and happy gaming.